Hi everyone, welcome to ZVNFT. I know it's been a while, I know, I know. Uh, I, I have nothing to say except I've been heads down, immersed in artificial intelligence and the whole AI verse, trying to figure out what, what has just happened that has been so mind-blowingly interesting and life-changing, actually. I still love NFTs. As you know, I'm trying to build an NFT collection called the Luca Press Club with my business partner, Billy Bunton, and try and find new ways to talk about journalism and storytelling and building communities and make a real good use case for NFTs. But then there was ChatGPT and we all got distracted. So I don't want to be the kind of person that flits here and flits there and this is a la mode and that's what I'm doing now. I still do believe that there is a serious use case for NFTs and we're still trying to figure it out, but the market's bad, people aren't making money, people uh, have lost interest and it's a tough space right now, uh, which is why you haven't seen a lot of progress in the Luca Press Club and I've just sort of gone silent a little bit. However, there is a way to think about how do we use the current uh, tools at, in, at our fingertips uh, such as ChatGPT when it comes to NFTs. And I'd like to share with you a little bit of, of what I've been learning, okay? So let, let me just show you two or three things. Okay, first of all, I want to say that I keep ChatGPT4 open on my computer all the time. If I have anything that crosses my mind and I just want to double check it, double check myself, see if it's better than the human, which... <laughs> clearly it is, uh, I, I go to it and I've been testing different methods uh, that, and different prompts that bring out content. And so I, I keep it there as my assistant all the time. I try and find ways to provide things like context, uh, the objective of what I'm looking for, ChatGPT to spit out, if there is any raw data or additional information uh, that I can put in. I can ask ChatGPT to analyze it, summarize it, change its tone, help me deliver it in a way that's interesting. So it actually does a, quite a lot of significant communications work. So soon I'll be out of a job, but it's still very exciting to see how that's going to happen, okay? So obviously you can go to ChatGPT and ask some basic questions. And here I said, you know, what do you think of the future potential of NFTs? As you know, the ChatGPT's training cuts off in 2021. So I actually checked that against BARD as well, uh, which is uh, Google's AI here. And uh, it, it had a little more updated content, but I'd like to just stick to GPT for now and just let you know how I'm using it, in particular, as I prepared this episode on NFTs. I just caught a glimpse of myself. I'm sorry, I, I promise I'll, I'll dress up for you next time, okay? Uh, all right, so this is, this is the process through which I go when I pre present one of these episodes to you. I go to Google News and I see, okay, what, what's the deal with the latest news on NFTs? And so I go through all these articles and then I read them, I write some bullet points, and then I think, how will I deliver it? So what I did for this episode is I used chat GPT, my new BFF. And I want to show you the way that I thought through it. Um, the first thing I did, and I did learn this from an AI course I was taking, and I just, I thought this was extremely valuable in terms of prompts, right? First, offer context, then ask for the object, explain the objective of what you're trying to do, then offer some raw data, and then ask your request. In some kind of configuration, all those things should be there. And then you iterate and ask and follow up like a, like a good journalist does uh, with some good questions and then start refining until you, you're satisfied with the response that you get. So I did that here and I said, I'm going to share some articles and I want you to read them all, then summarize them for me to share with my audience on my YouTube channel. So I went and I picked uh, a few stories, how brands are using NFTs, to connect with new audiences. I, I divided all the stories that I pasted uh, by using, you see here, these like three equal signs to indicate, okay, chat GPT, this is a new story, this is a new story. So Snoop Dogg has a new collection of uh, NFTs, this general uh, NFT interest has fallen off, uh, Bitcoin has gone down, 
And I just, I just basically, right, put these stories in here and I said, just quickly summarize this for me now. And this is what I got, a really nice key summaries for you, right? Uh, NFTs for community building and brand access, Snoop Dogg's NFT passport series, crypto prices are falling, there's a decreased interest in NFTs. And I could just rock through it with you. And then I wrote, which I also learned, today is is I should follow up like this uh, to simplify. Can you rewrite this as if I'm talking to my 90 year old grandmother? And ChatGPT said, of course, and really simplified this and made it lovely uh, uh, basic and accessible. Uh, remember Snoop Dogg, the rapper? He's created a special series of these digital collectibles that change as he travels for his concerts. If you have access to this, you can get special videos, music or merchandise that other people can't, right? Less interest in NFTs. It seems, you guys, it seems like people aren't interested in NFTs like they used to be. Like when a new toy comes out and everyone wants it, and then after a while, they get tired of it. (coughs) Not me. And move on to the next thing. Hope you understand, Grandma. It's all complicated for me too. Okay, fine. So now I follow up with, can't help it. Can you write this like a TV anchor script that I can deliver, right? And so here's my script. Good evening, viewers. Today, we're diving into the latest trends in the digital world. Buggle up and we ride the wave of non-fungible tokens or NFTs. Okay, that's not my tone or my style, right? I could have found a script and then put that in here and asked ChatGPT4 to familiarize itself with the way I like to talk. But instead, I said, can you deliver a bit more seriously and with some gravitas, with one or two light moments? And this is what I got. Okay, sure. Here's a little dash of levity. And then I've ended up with this script for you. (laughs) Uh, And then typically you're not going to see this. You're just going to see some images, right, that I I, I put up uh, from articles. And then I can have my little teleprompter or some bullet point notes running. And you won't see this, but I will have this. And so I just wanted to share it with you for transparency and, and learning together, you know, how, we, how we're changing our environments. Um, and, and I really like this. And this is what I wanted to deliver to you in terms of the NFT news out there today. Um, you know, brands are exploring ways to connect with their customers. Imagine that you own something that only you enjoy for your morning brew. Here's what Starbucks is doing for their customers. Um, you know, a development in gaming where digital tokens can interact with the digital universe. We already talked about Snoop. Uh, in the world of digital currencies, lots of turbulence, Bitcoin and Ethereum have seen significant drops in their value. Not all that glitters in the digital world is gold. And lastly, we examine a dip in the public interest of NFTs. Right? Enthusiasm is receiving, possibly because of the shift in the digital landscape to AI. So you see, I'm trying to get the best of both worlds, like, I, like, like I'm known to try and do. Uh, I don't want to give up anything. So. I like it. That's it. You have a whirlwind tour of today's digital frontier. And that's how I did it. And so my takeaway here is is less actually about NFTs, uh, TBH, and more about how a topic uh, can be can be uh, teased out, uh, summarized, um, and, and how my, my delivery scripts can be helped along that are informative, accessible, hopefully interesting. I didn't spend a whole lot of time on this because I want you to see the process more than the outcome here. As you know, Billy and I have been trying to develop the Luca Press Club, and here are some of the NFTs that we created, we enthusiastically uploaded, we have got our collection up and running, at the Luca Press Club on OpenSea. We did this some months ago, actually. Nobody bought anything yet, but that's okay. <laughs> so I'll buy all 40. Uh, no, I won't. But uh, it is an indication of the market. It's also an indication that we've done no uh, marketing at all for it. And the reason is, is because the industry and the space has been pretty depressed, right? And I've been trying to consider 
what is the net what is the best way to move forward with the Luca Press Club given the environment? Does it make sense to invest in a, a proposition of journalism, of storytelling, of community that is developed around holders of these NFTs? And I don't know what the answer is. And Billy and I are still talking about it and, and trying to understand what we should do. If you have any ideas, you know, please let us know. Anyway, I was just uh, reflecting on on all of this. And I thought to myself, I wonder what other NFT tools are out there to help me think through the Luca Press Club. And I just want to show you one thing I came across. OK, uh, hold on. I found this AI app actually called Tome. And it's a presentation app and you kind of put in a sentence and go, uh, build me a presentation on a, a Luca Press Club, which is a NFT club where people buy an NFT and they become part of this press club where they have a unique community and they can access all these really cool guests and they can learn about storytelling. And if you hold one, you can uh, propose a story and then I'll get all these teams around the world to go produce the story that you want. I didn't think it was a bad proposition, but Billy and I are refining it, right? Um, I mean, would you, would you buy one in order to be able to do that? Uh, that democratizes storytelling and democratizes journalism. Anyway, leave all that aside. Look at this new toy I, I, I found. Um, you know, I was thinking, how do we articulate the idea in a, in a, in a better way, in a way that you would find interesting? And so I, I tossed in that paragraph and Tome spat this out. Uh, join the exclusive club of impact makers. And then I have uh, a nice little table of contents there. Meet Luca, the tricolor King Charles Spaniel, who's sitting right here, by the way, waiting for his 3.30 walk and his yum-yums after that. Uh, gain access to the club, commissioned by journalists, limited edition NFTs, join the Luca Press Club today. And there's the little, little piggy. And Tome came up with all of this based on a few sentences I came up with that actually started to give me ideas. Um, uh, obviously, I can edit everything here. It also came up with uh, artificially uh, generated image of Luca, and I didn't give it one. So that was pretty cool. I, I, I did this after I saw this, right? And I just liked the way this was articulated. He's the inspiration behind the Luca Press Club. He's a tricolor King Charles Spaniel. You know, as you browse through the collection, you'll see this and that, blah, blah, blah. And then Billy designed this press pass. And this is the exclusive membership to the Luca Press Club. This is an NFT, right? The club is a community of journalists, artists, and animal novels passionate about making a difference in the world. And I was like, oh, oh yeah, that's right. That's what it is. So it was giving me ideas, right? Commissioned by journalists and the community and the ecosystem. Billy, who was also at CNN, as was I. We have a whole ecosystem we can tap around, uh, tap that's around us, as well as storytellers that we've built uh, as relationships subsequently. Limited collection NFTs. I, I really don't know what this is. It's clearly not based on me. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it could be if I clean myself up. But anyway, uh, obviously, we're going to remove that. Uh, but uh, Tome artificially generated that and joined the Luca Press Club today. So, you know, the idea of community generated this image. And uh, I note, interestingly, that some AI image uh, diffuser, diffusion models don't come up with a diverse group in their images. This one wasn't bad. So well done, Tome. Um, and so by owning the Luca Press Club, you'll be part of a group, blah, 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 join us. And I thought to myself, this is a great tool, not only again for NFTs and the Luca Press Club, but in general for everyone who has to build a presentation and explain their concepts in an easy way. So between ChatGPT today and Tome, I wanted to share with you uh, some of the ways I'm applying it to the NFT space, to the storytelling space, to the journalism space. That's going to help processes. It's not necessarily going to replace you and we all freak out, but we can, we can work smarter and less uh, and find interesting ways to deliver content.
That's it for this episode of ZV NFT. If you like this episode, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to this, share with your friends. But what I'd really appreciate most of all is any questions or comments, anything you'd like me to share with you. I could show you stuff that I do in real time, like with the Tome presentation or with ChatGPT. Uh, we can learn together uh, with NFTs and maybe sometimes even without, because it really applies to everything. Uh, little tricks of the trade that we're all figuring it out together. And if you have any ideas about the Luca Press Club and what Billy and I can do with it, let us know. Uh, there's Luca. I'll share more cute pictures <laughs> of him later. But thank you for hanging with me and uh, seeing how crazy things can get. I promise the next episode I will at least uh, brush my hair and put on some makeup and uh, look the part. But I was quite keen to share this with you. So uh, please uh, tune in for more AI, NFT, uh, ZV, NFT, uh, GPT, uh, T-O-M-E uh, material that I can come up with, including, let's not forget, B-A-R-D, BARD. Uh, that's also uh, offered some pretty interesting propositions uh, in thinking through some of the ideas that we've been talking about. Okay, take care of yourself. Bye.